Well, good morning, this is Adam McAllister, and we're here with Pat. Pat, how's it going? All right, how you doing? According to the powers of be, you're the ideas guy. Is that true? I guess I am. So what the heck's <laughs> the big idea this morning? <laughs> uh, I'm just putting some utilities in, so we're water. I mean, we got water going in down there, so, so we're here. We've got storm drain and some head walls being built. Get so the stars on the site. The site we're at here this morning. What's the what's the end result here going to be? It's going to be a housing development. It's going to be a housing development. How many units will be here? 216. So 216 residential homes yep. that somebody at some point in time here soon will be able to buy. Right. The pipe there's to put the pipe in the ground, the, you know, the service is what they're going right down. And the loader, he's backfilling the lifts and rolling the lifts, putting lifts in the backfill for the compaction for the roads. The guys that are over here working, what's the average time frame that they've been here to do as skillfully as they're doing it uh, here behind us? Because just watching these guys for a few minutes, it's been amazing. We've had some good days. I mean, today's not the best because we we're real wet in the ground and stuff, but we've had some 400 foot days, 500 foot sewer days. Ooh, like days. What you're seeing going on now is not much. They're just trying to clean up that end of that court to restart out with another mail. What's the, what's the biggest challenge you have when you start first lay out a project? What are sort of the key parts you're looking for to make sure your job goes as smoothly as possible? Uh, making sure we got proper grades on everything, make sure all the utilities are going in right. We think we're ahead to what the results are going to end up being at the end of it. Make sure nobody's making mistakes. Yeah. What about laws, regulations, or the things that change you've got to be on top of on a regular basis to <laughs> make sure everything's staying the way it needs to? Uh, mostly OSHA stuff anymore, you know, having the proper equipment to work with, change and all the safety gear you're supposed to have and everybody's supposed to have. So am I wearing the proper headgear today or not so much? No, you should have a hard hat or I should have a yellow one just got out of the truck. But according to the, to, the, to the thing, it said one size fits most and I guess no. I'm no longer most. <laughs> they got bigger size. That, well, that's, well, hopefully for the, for the next video we'll get a bigger size. Yeah. Walk me through the project here. So we got sewer going on behind us. Yeah. We've got walls and water going on over this side and behind Chuck. Chuck, wave the camera, say hi. There we go, it's Chuck everybody. So in behind us is, is water and some walls going in. Where's the next step of this go? Once, all, once the water and sewer and walls are in, what's the next well, the step here? Next step after sewer and water, then we'll finish the storm drain. And then the uh, next step after that is put the uh, guys get everything on grade for the curb gutter and asphalt. Nice. When you take in a project this size, you said there's 216 homes? Yeah. From the time you start doing site development all the way through, you guys hand it off to, to the next group. On a thing this well, size, we what's, what's the time look like? Oh, well, we're doing what we're doing is in phases. We're okay. not doing it all one time, but a lot of what we got to do is just to get the water to the other side of the project. So the community's got water, so we're doing more than they got a basic little area that they're going to pave and do, start the lots, and then later on we'll go back in and finish the rest of So, back going back 38 years, obviously technology's changed, jobs have changed. Walk me through some of the differences you've seen from 38 years ago to now 2016, how your job has changed and how what you're doing has changed. Oh, the work today is so much easier compared to what it was 38 years ago. It didn't have the equipment or the technology. When I first started laying pipe, I laid it with a water bubble, and, you know, pump bob had, that's how we laid sewer, it was level, water bubble. Today you got lasers, technology, put it in the ground. Just like surveying, the technology GPS, what they use today, apparently with the old chain and transit and protractor and planes trying to get it done. Yeah, you know, it's totally different. How it, do you see methods that you used 38 years ago to methods that are now today that were actually better then than some of the stuff you're oh, using yeah, now? It's tough technology is definitely taking over, but some of the old methods that I've learned actually help out here in certain situations that we do things. Yeah. Is there some things that some of the new guys will see you using going, what are you using that for? You yeah. got this computer, this laser to do that, and you're still doing it an old fashioned way. What's, what's one of those things that they would say that may go, hey, the old man's nuts, but it works? No, it's no, just different things. I mean, we do levels and stuff like that. With, like when I lay stuff out, I lay out some of the stuff the old style because we don't have GPS here with us out here. The field Jason has it for the dirt. Yeah. But we don't. So. What about the building materials? Obviously, building materials oh, have changed. Oh, building materials have changed tremendously. With plastics instead of terracotta and cast iron.